So what is my opinion about the V8F after 300 kilometers? Is it good? Is it bad? If you want to know everything, stay tuned until the end of the video. So when we talk about build quality, I have to say to you guys that this wheel is quite durable. It have already suffered a bit in my hands and also other person have started using it to learn how to ride an electric unicycle. And since then, no problem at all besides the pads. So my wife have a massive crash with the V8F and obviously the pads are soft and it gets damaged. So if it's your first wheel, what I recommend is to put some tape around your pads to protect them a little bit more. Besides that, I never had any issues in the last 300 kilometers. Another thing that is quite interesting is how easy is to disassemble this wheel. So if you are not comfortable to open a wheel and changing a motherboard or a battery, if something goes wrong, this is the wheel for you. You have just two screws on the bottom, you rotate the panels and you have access. So if you don't have seen, definitely check the first video, but it's so, so easy to reach there. When we talk about the lights, the lights on the sides, they are quite, quite visible. I really like them. And like I show in the other video, they are also visible from the back and the front light, it could be better. So that is a downsize that you have on this wheel. If you are going to ride during the winter, if you are going to ride in the middle of the night, I definitely recommend to have a second light on your helmet or on your hand because you are going to see much much better obviously it's also a small wheel so it's normal that you don't have a very powerful light on the front so when we talk about the pedals I have to say to you guys that this is my favorite pedals until today they are quite big they are very good to open and close and like you can see after 300 kilometers it continue like new the paint is difficult to come off and underneath your grip tape you have like um, rubber material that makes it softer underneath your feet so definitely a plus that you have on this one when we talk about the app i have to say to you guys that is my favorite app until today before that was the one of segway but this one works even better first of all you have a diagnose profile so you can see if something is wrong is going to do a diagnose of your wheel and saying oh your motherboard is gone so you need to replace it so definitely cool so you can automatically see what is the problem from another thing that i really like is the two modes that you have so you have the comfort and the classic mode. The comfort, I have to say that I believe that is the best one to use your V8F. First of all, this wheel is not a fast wheel. Don't get me wrong, you can go at 35 km per hour, but if you are a speed freak like me, definitely you are always reaching very, very easily the top end of your wheel. So if you put on the comfort mode, basically what it do is the pedals, they are completely flat. So they don't bend front and back. It's much more comfortable for your feet. So if you are going just to ride with some friends and just enjoy going from point A to point B not in full speed is definitely my favorite mode because when you are on the classic mode when you reach the top end you start feeling your wheel just tilting you back so definitely I really enjoy the comfort mode that you have on the Emotion V8F. Another thing that I love on the app is the SCV correction so in other words you can adjust how tilt are these pedals if they are pointing a little bit more on the front or a little bit more on the back and that is definitely a plus that you have I would love that you have that option everywhere because for example on the 9bot Z10 you have to do it manually constantly and you can't really see how much you are going to bend back and forward so definitely a big big plus that you have using the app of Emotion when we talk about range this was incredible what I could take out of this wheel with a so small battery so definitely if you want to know a little bit more about the range and my first impressions in that time definitely check the video but I was really really surprised with what I was able to take out of this wheel because I had a bad experience with the CY tire when I saw that this wheel comes with a CY tire H5146 I was not really really convinced how will be my experience with it because the other CY tire that I tried it basically is very dangerous if the floor is wet and since I've been riding with it I went on the woods I've done all type of terrain with this wheel grass and everything and I feel so comfortable and the wheel is so light that it feels like you are floating so definitely I love the choice of the tire that you have on the V8F when we talk about the trolley handle is not my favorite one but I have to say that it do the job if you need to just open and walk a bit you are not going to have any problem to use it besides that this wheel is super Super, super light only 14.5 kilos and that makes the perfect wheel if you have to just go up in stairs so if you live in an apartment and you don't have an elevator or if at work if you need to do it definitely this is a big big advantage that you have with this wheel when we talk about the cut switch on the emotion is definitely the best that you can get it because it's so easy to press and definitely be sure that your wheel is turned off 
that doesn't happen with my other wheels i always had some problems and with this one no problem at all if you are convinced and you think that this wheel is good for you or someone from your family or friends definitely you have some links on the description below with some discounts whatever you live in europe or united states i have you covered my name is marco this is matt pack if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to the channel comment below smash the thumbs up do whatever you want but always with a smile on your face and i hope to see you in the next one